Oh. Well, they're, they're falling out in the press. They are. What are you doing? I've got something in my eye. Yeah, I, what you've got in your eye is a bloody great four-inch paintbrush called an eyelash. <laughs> you know, if you blink quickly, you'll, you'll, my paper will flap like this. Have you started already? Oh, just get on with it. <laughs> First of all, you must, we've got to ask ourselves here, everybody, um, how is the Prince of Wales coping with his life at the moment? His poor dad's got cancer, his brother's gone off a bit trick, and, of course, his darling wife uh, has got cancer of some description, we don't know. I think... Um, but how is he? He's still he, got to do the school got run. The, he's got a smile. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, hasn't he? Yeah. I was saying this to, to my parents the other day. I mean, he's early 40s. The, the dignity with which he's sort of presented himself with, with what's been going on, obviously, behind the scenes, I just think he's remarkable. And, and her, I just think she's just... I said this last week, just what? the most beautiful, dignified, graceful woman. Um, and to come out, let's face it, Jim, as we discussed last week, she's been forced to make this announcement. Yeah. Prematurely. Pressure, pressure, Pressurised yeah. by, by the, the people. My old mate George Galloway has become an MP now. He's been having a bit of a dig as well. But George will do anything to, to get a vote and a couple was, of listeners. Love ask, you, George. But I was going to ask you this. What? I know you sort of... You know we disagree on what? Galloway, right? I, I, you know, I am not fond of the man. Oh. Um, some of his remarks have been disgusting. Yeah. And, he's, and he's, he's platformed this ludicrous conspiracy theorist who said, oh, she's dead or she's in a... Uh, she's in a vegetative state, and all these awful conspiracy theories that, that have led to the Princess of Wales having to make this announcement. He's part of the problem. Yeah. And a load of MPs have now said, you know, he's a stain on democracy. This man is representing us in Parliament. He ain't representing um, us. No back, one knows. But back to Catherine, and, and he's one of, one of many people, particularly on the left, I would suggest, as always, um, who I, I hope feel very ashamed of themselves, actually, in the way they've treated her. She, she went in for surgery, obviously, you what know... What was the surgery? We don't we know. We don't know, but it was... It was, a, it was... Well, was the one thing to start a conspiracy theory is to not to give all the facts. Jim, do, do you think the public have a right to your medical records? I don't think being a member of the well, royal family not, no, gives not, people not, a right to your medical No, no, you don't records? need the medical records. Don't need the so you think she should have? She's got a duty to the public to give her. No, I don't think. So I, don't think, I think the palace and the and the hospital could have worded it a little better. And there's In still the things thing. there, so we still don't know what it is—an abdominal thing. And what they've done there, they've done a, a, a biopsy thing. They've examined the bit they've taken away, yeah. and there is stages under the microscope of cancer. There was there was yeah. cancer so there. So the tumor wasn't cancerous. Well, when how, they... how much information do you want then? Genuinely, like mm. they've said, she's having a big operation. You yeah. won't see it till Easter, mm. right? Then but obviously, no. I don't need the information. I'm, I, I, I'm happy with it. But there's other people like George Galloway who thinks, well, they haven't quite finished off the statement. They haven't quite finished well, off what tough. it is. So we'll guess the rest of it. You know, like, on this week, I said she was found on the moon. Yeah, but that was. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I just don't think the public. I, I don't think we need to know. I don't think we've got a right to, to know every. Cough and spit of their medical logic. So what's happening and, and, in the and London clinic, kids. though? Someone had uh, tried to have. Uh, well, this is presumably why it's had to come this. out, hasn't it? Presumably, peop somebody's access to her files. Well, the newspapers want to know. The newspaper would have paid a fortune for it. I would suggest so. I mean, what? you might disagree with me. I don't think the British press. <laughs> we never disagree. I don't think the British press themselves have been too bad. I think actually the world's media have been in more of a frenzy, and social media in particular. And like I say, all these comedians on the left, uh, you know, oh, where's Kate? And all these shitty z celebrities, you know, who aren't fit to lick her boot. Oh, we're going to find Kim Kardashians and your Owen Jones. Oh, we're going to find Kate. And you think, you've hounded this woman. And at the end of the day, whatever her job is, and she, which she, car uh, she carries out her duties beautifully. Trainee queen. But she, but, and she'll be a beautiful queen. Mm. But... She's ultimately she's a mother of three. She's a wife and a mother of three. No, and she was four. No, she's not. She's a mother of two. One of them kids was airbrushed on there. <laughs> That's the stop, conspiracy. Stop, stop, stop. But she's had to tell she's had to tell the world 
and Rush telling her children, you've yeah. got kids, you've got grandkids. Yeah. I've got a son who's seven, almost eight, so roughly the same age as Catherine's and, and William's. I can't think of anything more horrific than having to break that news to my child, right? Mm. And I would like to think you'd be able to do it in your own time, at your own will. Well, uh, a, and, yeah, but, and I think but, you talked, but, but she did it with such dignity. Yeah, yeah, but, but she's in the public eye. She's the future queen. That's the job. I'm a passionate believer in freedom of speech. And I so think... So tell me what's happening then. OK, so they're bringing in this hate crime bill in, in Scotland, which is the most ill-thought-out piece of legislation. I was going to cancel my gigs. I'm going to Glenrothes in Glasgow, and I'm still waiting to get some legal advice on Monday. I'll phone Henry. Well, you see, can you just not go and not offend anyone? No. Has it been the shortest act in the world? Good you evening, Glasgow, nothing. and good night. Well, that's it. What's really good is, um, you know, your, your mate Andrew Doyle yeah. and Leo Curse, and there's yeah, a man they're named... great guys. Yeah, so they're doing a show on April the 1st in Edinburgh called The Hate Monster um, to, to basically say... Says, I've got it here somewhere. You know, um, right, uh, we'll, we'll arrest us then if you think we, we are going to offend people because people will... We will be taking the mickey out of people. That is comedy. That is, but they're that sort is of the lefty thing. comedians as well, aren't they? They actually are. Yeah. Um, but Rowan Atkinson but fought not... against this, you know, this this crime, to the hate speech type thing. There was legislation in England about it, wasn't there, uh, a while ago. And Rowan Atkinson always said it will prevent free speech. Well, Everyone should it, have an it's, opinion. It's completely Whether you unworkable. dislike it or not. It, you can't possibly police this because... You, I mean, you know yourself. Oh, dear, come and get me in Glasgow. Bet oh, your well, you, you wouldn't even be able to walk out the door. Like, it's like open your mouth. I mean, mm. because ultimately, as well, do we really believe they say, oh, you know, we don't think this will be abused by, you know, malicious people? Of course it will. Of course there mm. are people waiting to, to be offended. Of and so they phone the police and say, he just mentioned he my this. tits. But then they've said they will investigate everything. But it only takes somebody to, I mean, mm. to, to come to a gig and say, Jim Davidson said this, or so-and-so said this. So they've act one of the blokes on that bill on April the 1st, he's I a I don't bloke. know what to do. Well, I think you've got to go and... And I get think, arrested. Well, yeah, why I've not? Got, oh, you want me as a sacrificial lamb? Yeah. So I'm on the front page? Oh, why not? I'll wear a Ustream T-shirt when I'm <laughs> photographed. <laughs> can you? Um, he, he's as, him as well, can you? No, can you? No, can you West? There's a bloke called, um, well, Kate Dankler, I think is his, his stage name. Who? He was the one... He was arrested in Scotland. Do you remember the Nazi pug joke? A no. couple of three years back. So this bloke, he used to be a communist. He's very left-wing. Um, and they've got this little tiny pug, him and his wife. What's a pug? Pug, little pug. Pug? A, a pug. 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 <laughs> what did you... Pug. A fucking pug. Got a pug. God, he has to cut me off on every point. Well, you shouldn't He's come up a... with such stupid points. He's got a pug, dog. <laughs> and what? Say it again. Pug. <laughs> well, I can't change my accent after all these years. A fucking pug. Anyway, he took. He said this. Oh, <laughs> the he said this dog. I'm going this on. Pug, what's the fucking smell? I think it's a pug in here. <laughs> someone said. Someone. Do you mind if I go for a pug? <laughs> go, 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 carry on. Shall I carry on? Yeah. Don't he mention Pug again. Say it's a poodle or something. He taught his Pug to do a, a Nazi salute, right? He taught the dog, he taught his dog, his little dog, his little cute dog... To oh, do to do this, a Hitler salute? Yeah, but he, he did it as a, as a, you know, a complete... A way of saying, this is the cutest thing in the world and what's the worst thing in the world? Nazis, right? It was clearly a joke and it was a YouTube joke, right? Mm. Ricky Gervais defended him at the time and said, it was a joke, he's clearly not... A Nazi, right? Mm. So they investigated him for two years to see if they could find any sort of Nazi, you know, propaganda in his house or anything like that. Found nothing. Ricky Gervais got involved, Andrew Doyle got involved. So he's one of the people on this bill um, for that comedy night. And Andrew Doyle has said, you know, don't be, don't be mistaken that we when think... When is it? For... When? Yeah. April the 1st, which is quite a good day for, for absolute clown legislation. Where am I April the 1st, Tash? Can I have a look? I might fly up. I've call Andy and see if he wants some real shit on there. <laughs> you actually want to really get offended. Yeah, yeah. I think this hate speech thing is uh, is a bit silly. And Andrew and boys, go for it. Good luck. Go for it. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, can I tell you the funniest story of the week? 
Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Wing, wing, hello. Go this on. is genuine, right? Yeah. So in North London, I don't know whether you've seen this. It's hilarious. In North London, there was a funeral. That's not a good start to a funny story, if I'm honest. So a bloke. I prefer funerals to weddings. Do you? Yeah, you don't have to take a present, do you? You don't have to piss around having photographs afterwards. <laughs> no. Sing karaoke and that. Go on, carry on. You've forgotten where you are now. No, I haven't. So it's a funeral. Is there a pug involved? There's no pug. It's a funeral. <laughs> Stop it. Um, funeral. Funeral. Yeah. And so, because there were so many people going, yeah. they did a Zoom link to it so people could watch over a Zoom link at mm -hmm. the church, right? Yeah. So I set up this massive screen at the church. So this woman set up her Zoom link and hadn't realised she'd put the camera on of her computer, then got in the shower, started shaving her bits, so she was shown on a huge screen at the church in the shower shaving... Shaving the dolphin's yeah. nose. Oh, no. And, and then went to the wake. So everybody's going, oh. So people have recorded it, right? Put it in their WhatsApp group going, oh, my God. She's then turned up at the wake, like, hi. And they're all going, dude, we saw you in the shower shaving your bits. Do you know did she get funeral? on the big screen then? Because the, the Zoom link, so everybody that had Zoomed oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. she'd put her camera on without realising it. Um, I mean, and got in the shower and shaved the shower, Jack shower, and shower, Danny. Yeah. God. I mean, you'd have to leave the country, wouldn't you? But, but then... I wonder what he was going to say then. <laughs> Thank heavens there was a tree on the end of it. You have to leave the... But even even the even the Australian press have picked it up, just going, oh, this poor... Oh, that's right up their street. Just that. this poor... So Aussie. you could... Right, now we've got some news from Birmingham where a lady's been shaving the old dolphin's nose and uh, and it's been zoomed to a funeral. <gasps> oh, me... First time the coffin's ever got a round of applause. And what's happening in Soho with these uh, black uh, comedians? Oh, OK, this is... Bonkers. Yeah. This is bonkers, right? It's all right? bonkers. The world's gone so bonkers. it's Soho Theatre, yeah. right? Branded as an unapologetic celebration of comedians of colour that are not cis men. So black women, right? Not miss what? Not cis men. Men means... Cis is a made-up word in this mad age where it says you were born a man and still identify as a man. It's... We don't want them. They're bad. We don't want them. We don't want men. Oh, we okay, don't want then. white men. Uh, I want so to got, identify so got... as Liz Hurley. So I'm just I'll going off to on. have a strum. <laughs> 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 but, so basically, they're doing this comedy night for black women, right? <coughs> They've said <coughs> that white audience members should check their white privilege at the door. OK. Right? Now, just wow. <laughs> Just, just wow. And they've given an example. She might as well just say, we don't want any white people in. Well, that's... The, the, the we real. don't like white people, that's it. What it, is she, a comedian? Where's she it's from? A, it's, a, it's a group of comedians. There's a black few... Black women. Black women, com female oh, comedians, yeah. Black me. But can I give you... Do you want... I mean, I don't know whether you want to read out this joke. Yeah. Right, this, this is one of the jokes. Where is it? Let's top, top of that page. Top. This is the joke. One of the jokes. Kenya or Kenya? Kenya. Envelope or envelope? Envelope. Hmm. Kenya was a British colony. When, and when Kenya was a British colony, <laughs> we had to be like the British. Oh, yeah. We played board games. We played guess who's going to conquer us next. I'm still laughing. I read it earlier and I was laughing so hard the whole journey here that I'm, I'm So they still... pissed off that they got conquered? Yeah? Well, just, Where's your just fucking fight back? White. Fight back. The Zulu's had a go. I can nearly add Michael Caine's head off. But what's happened to comedy, Jim? What's well, happened to comedy? It, it's that... alive and well and living in Ustream TV. That's what's happening. But, I mean, William Shakespeare in the theatre has propagated white, able-bodied, heterosexual, cisgender male narratives. Right? This research hasn't even been done yet. It's two years. We've got to wait two years. So that's the narrative they've been given. And then we've got to wait two years for the results to say, yes, it's racist. I'm just adding... Well, whoever said all that should be taken to the House of Commons, sat there and, and have Lee Anderson grilled Yes! Them. Yes, they should! Yeah. Can Did we show this it? bit of film? Was it a police commissioner who was fire, talking to? Fire service. Actually, it was Dorset in Wiltshire, fire service. So she's a counsellor. Uh, Rebecca Knox, I think her name is. Does she? A boom, boom, tsh. <laughs> um, boom, boom, tsh. And she, she'd accepted... Uh, the results of a report 
saying that Dorset Fire Service was institutionally racist. What's that mean? They only put out white people's houses <laughs> when there's a fire. What does it mean? Or, or presumably, you know, recruitment or Christ knows. So Lee Anderson, bless him. I mean, it took forty seconds, and it's like checkmate. So he said yeah, to I her, know. he give said, "Give me an to, example." Give me an example. So he said, "Do white people get an advantage?" She said, "No." And he said, "Well, why would you accept?" the results of a report then saying you're institutionally racist and she went I'm going to have to get back to you on that I know and he went okay everybody's just like I said to you earlier just had enough um, just ignore it it well, will go can't, away you can't can you, you what did you call me what did you do? you said you can't <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but here's, here's another one on top of the HSB is racist and the fire service is racist the Wombles are racist and so Wombles are racist yeah. and theatre's racist and comedy's racist ITV commissioner you're not racist oh the, oh no I know you're not I know you're not that's the bloody irony I know um, ITV commissioner Nicola Lloyd oh um, there you go Nicola she's an ITV commissioner why have they got a woman fucking doing it well, listen to what she said. I don't know if you've heard this. No, go on. So she, they were discussing, and this is in public, right? Um, they were discussing uh, the 9pm news broadcast slot. Her words, we really don't want any more white men. There you go. Right? The two big shows she commissioned were Gordon, Gino and Fred, right? Now, if you took out the white men there, you'd be left with and. And Bradley Walsh and Son, Breaking Dad. So another... White male free triumph there because that's two shows that are just white men. Hmm. So those are the two big shows she's commissioned, um, and came out and said that, and I just, I despair. Let's move on for a little while here and talk about someone that called you today, one of our subscribers. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to get a mensch here, matey. So this is one of our. I'm going to get it up. Name and shame the bastard. Andy Hind is one of our members, right? So he said. Uh, Dear Victoria, being a member of Ustream, I'm looking forward to today's Jim and her. That was the name. Um, I have a bone to pick with Jim. I can be the adjudicator if you like. For every below the belt gag you're the recipient of from Jim, he should either give £100 for each one to a charity of your choice or he can't drink alcohol for one week for each gag. Christ, if you did that, you wouldn't drink for the next year and some charity would be in the millions. Right, so I've got to give 500 quid, though. I probably 100 am... quid per below the belt. Just because show. he said so? Yeah. What's his name? Andy. Andy? Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Have your £3.99 back. <laughs> it's fucking cheaper. <laughs> you lend me 250 quid. Well, no, because you don't pay me enough. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can let's... I just talk one more thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Fucking hell. I'm sorry. Right. How he... does your bloke find time to watch television and criticise it? <laughs> Probably listening to you gobbing off all the time. No, really. It must be women gobbing off, though. You were like that last night. Couldn't stop. It's like fucking Duracell batteries tucked up the Jack and Danny. Oh, shit, that's another hundred quid. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Guys, what's... You've got... Do you know what you've got? You've got my face wipe sticker on the bottom of your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. Look. Pull it off for me. No! Can you pull... <laughs> Pull me, come here, baby, and pull me off. No, that's another hundred quid. Two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is a great show, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Okay, folks, let, let's crack on. Have a good day. We'll see you next uh, Easter Sunday, and uh, and really, it's a good time to get together with the families. You know, get together. Let's. See. You only get one family, and then you bump into other families on the way. It's a blessing, it really is. And what about your man? Has he got family? Yeah, he's, 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 he's got a sister and, um, and his mum. Um, yeah. But it's, it's a smaller family. And his mum, really... his mum's Mrs Ross, yeah? OK. <sighs> well, <laughs> well, I don't want to give anything away. He's a, he's a really nice man. He is a lovely man. Yeah. Anything else to say? No, nothing. Nothing to say. Bye.